to recognize is first that kids can get lupus. I think a lot of people are surprised by that, but it definitely can happen. In fact, 20% of people with lupus are diagnosed when they're 18 years or younger. And then the other thing to realize is that lupus in children is actually much more severe disease often than it is in adults. So kids tend to present with more severe disease, they have more organs involved, and they're more likely to require pretty high intensity therapy to improve. One of the projects I'm working on right now with Lupus Foundation funding is in collaboration with Hermina Bruner at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, and we're looking at different microRNA in the urine to see if they correlate with lupus activity in the kidney. The idea would be that if we could find really reliable markers in the urine, like these microRNA are small proteins that can suggest inflammation, um, that those could be a way we could assess for um, lupus involvement in the kidney without resorting to kidney biopsy. MicroRNA are very small proteins basically that the body encodes at times of inflammation and they, they circulate in the blood and then they can also be found in the urine and they come in the urine out from the inflamed kidneys so we know that they are reflecting inflammation. Several groups looking at microRNA in the urine, and we did present an abstract of our work at the ULAR meeting this year showing that a particular protein called MI125 does seem to be differentially expressed in people who have lupus nephritis, meaning people with lupus kidney involvement, lupus kidney involvement tended to have this protein, whereas those without lupus kidney involvement didn't. But it's still not at the point where we can use it routinely in the clinic yet. Thank you.